with Carlson Software. And in this video, I am going to demonstrate our new uh, surface volume command, which is uh, a new icon that we have in our uh, view and inspect uh, toolbar. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, load a point cloud. Uh, but this is going to be a quarry site. I've already set my scenario projection to use uh, US um, survey feed uh, in Michigan. Uh, south, uh, but I happen to know that this point cloud is was done in metric, uh, also in the same projection, just with metric units. I'm going to thin it down pretty um, pretty far just for the sake of uh, processing time. So once this comes in, um, just to verify that you have the right size, you know, you can measure, you know, a truck or across the road and, and make sure that it, it, it appears to be the right way. But we also have a new way of, of kind of telling if your if your data is at the right place and the right size uh, with our new uh, Google Map background. And I'm just going to accept the defaults here. And then we'll pull back in. We can see that we are indeed in the quarry and you can even see uh, older files in the original image. So if I turn off this guy, you can see how well that lines up. So this is taken at some point back in time when their, uh, when their uh, belt feeder was uh, obviously working on, it on a different pile. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, calculate a, uh, a pile volume. So I'm going to put my display value in uh, contour and elevation mode. And that just really makes the, uh, the, the contour of the piles, uh, the, that, that daylight uh, line that we're looking for, uh, really uh, highlighted. And so it, just going to come in here around the here roughly drawing a polyline. And press C to close. I'm going to put this back into the image color. And so I'm just going to uh, use the new volume command. And in this case, we can pick a top surface or a point cloud. So I'm just going to click on the point cloud. Or you can also select it from the scenario projection. And I'm going to use my right mouse crossing to pick up the polyline. And then the command is going to automatically calculate. And here we can see that we're getting a fill volume. And I'm going to press OK. And just like we did in 2017, um, we print out the, the report down in our scenario output so that you can copy and paste the values uh, if you're going to be creating a report. Uh, one new thing that we do, so if I shut off this and just select this surface that we just created from the volume command, you'll notice that we have uh, approximate cut and fill volume um, now. So any any surface that's used as a top surface or created for the purposes of uh, a uh, for volume calculations itself, uh, we're going to add that property uh, to the surface. And it's now a new property of uh, all of our surfaces. So the, the next thing I'm going to do is demonstrate how to do a surface surface volume calculation. And to do that, I'm going to turn on my point cloud again. And I'm going to use one of our, our new precision 3D um, point cloud editing tools and to isolate uh, an area of the surface just to sort of demonstrate the values here. So I'm just going to select this pile.
and I'm going to click on keep enclosed in selection and now I'm going to create a new cloud from that pile and when I create a new cloud from that pile so I'm just going to rename this uh, pile one and you can see that uh, it's just essentially just uh, crop that crop that out but now I can shut it off and I'm going to turn my volume surface back off and I'm going to now use the same the same command and I'm just going to pick an area out here to demonstrate the surface to surface volume command here I'm just going to say keep enclosed in selection this time I'm going to essentially crop to it so I'm only going to keep the the points in this cloud and then now I'm going to create a surface from it a tin surface so this basically represents the, a separate surface that's the ground. And I'm going to turn off my point cloud. And just for that little different. And now I'm going to turn my volumes surface back on where we have this 17218. Uh, uh, th this is actually an, an internal calculation uh, for the surface. Uh, the the volume commands will, will create slightly different um, results depending on whether you're going surface to surface or f or from a point cloud and and vary you know maybe two or three percent. But now what, what I'm going to do is is I'm going to select the uh, calculate volumes command again, and this time I'm going to pick the pile surface is the top surface and I'm going to pick the bottom surface um, and here we're going to get uh, a fill vol a, a fill area now and that so when we do the pile volumes by uh, polyline uh, like I just showed you from a point cloud we're we're showing you essentially the the same thing so so uh, in previous versions of p3d we would report this backwards but but Basically, we're going to compare the top surface to the bottom surface, and in this case, uh, that would be the amount of fill um, difference between these two surfaces. We can also take a a polyline, which I need to turn on so I can see it. And I'm just going to draw it around here. So if we wanted to measure the volume of the base of this, which is going to be really um, not very much, but just to, to, to demonstrate, when we just pick, uh, we pick the surface again. And in this case, I'm going to hold my right mouse button down, and I'm just going to do a crossing so it picks up that polyline. And it picked up this first one, and, and it's going to give us a, another uh, cut and fill volume. So essentially, uh, with a si single volume command, you can compute volumes between uh, a point cloud and a polyline. You can compute volumes between a surface and a polyline, and you can compute volumes between two surfaces.